Melanda dairy farmer Steve Soley has a simple philosophy that if he looks after his farm, it will look after him. This means that he's been a keen participant in the Australian Government's reef program. This includes previous investments in laneway upgrades and a planned future investment in recycling effluent. Well, we can get up to um, uh, probably four to six metres of rain uh, in a year. And uh, depending on uh, how many cyclones we have, uh, it can go on for like five, six months of uh, continual rain every day. Uh, the laneways can be up to a metre deep. You know, some, when I first got home, the old cows used to drag their udders through the mud. So uh, some of the government-sponsored money allowed me to uh, put in uh, two or three kilometres of uh, laneway, uh, concrete laneway, which allowed then to control the effluent and uh, saved a lot of grief with the cow's feet and, and all their udders with mastitis and such. You've got to look after your, your dirt. Um, uh, we've got five dams on the actual property itself being dammed off and uh, they're basically only there for uh, uh, birds and whatever, other than for one of the dams we use as an irrigation dam. Uh, the other ones are just to uh, prevent anything going off, off property. You know, we, we have up until not long ago tested every year to make sure there's um, uh, no effluent going off property. So um, you look after your own, otherwise uh, you know, it won't look after you. Yeah, well, this drops straight down into the uh, Johnson River. Well, that is the Johnson River over to our left there, and uh, um, it goes straight down into Innisfail and then out in the reef. So you don't want uh, any fertiliser or any effluents or anything like that going off. And uh, the projects we've been playing with here uh, are to prevent that. Uh, our laneways, most of the laneways are, uh, are concrete. Uh, this has been one of my major problems in that uh, uh, there's a fair bit of effluent comes off 200 cows. The effluent itself is, uh, I'm attempting to uh, control it with what I've currently got. Um, if uh, we, we finalise the whole project here then uh, it'll be uh, more sustainable and uh, totally controlled. Yeah, there'll be no, no effluent leaving this area at all. He is also acutely aware that what he does on his farm can have broad implications. So he's always looking to have things running as efficiently as possible. Um, the effluent, it's, the area itself is going to be a weeping wall and uh, it's going to be um, a bucketed uh, set up. Any effluent that's held over is going to be moved over and dried out and then spread across the area. Most important uh, to do some of the projects that I've done here uh, with a little bit of government funding uh, because there wasn't a lot of money in the, the uh, price, uh, the milk price. Um, that little bit extra and I uh, put in half, uh, a minimum of half to it. And uh, yeah, we got a few things done that'll yeah, uh, allow us to keep going into the, the near future anyway. He also says that while the Tablelands dairy industry has shrunk to about 45 farmers, those remaining have a solid focus on both farm profit and preserving the environment. They are looking after the environment, you know, like uh, uh, as I have done. You know, I've got a couple of pivot irrigators which are uh, very good for uh, the, the, the area in its own right. You don't lose, use a lot of water, only use what you need to use. Uh, we do testing, soil sampling, uh, uh, right across the board, every spectrum that you can save a few dollars and and or um, uh, make a few dollars out of it and uh, look after the, the ecology as, uh, as it sits. Uh, we're into everything. <laughs>